Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. How's it going, everybody? It's Jim and Dave's Beer, Beer Review. Review. Oh. He's straight the thumb there. Hey, Dave. Yes. What's on tap for this beer review? I don't know. I have to open up my iPad Mini. Mini. Mini pad. Mini pad. Jerry. Okay. Beer Advocate says it's Jersey Juice from Flying Fish Brewery Company. Jersey? Juice. Jersey Flying juice. Fish. We've been there. Remember, yeah. we walked in there and they made us take a tour. No, the tour was, you had to watch a video. The video had no sound, and we had to stand there in front of the screen, like, go, nodding uh -huh, our head, like, uh -huh, uh -huh. yes, yeah. we're listening. And I said, Dave, I I think it looped. I, I think we're done now. And I was like, where's the bathroom? So it says here, um, 15 uh, taps, cool tasting room, also beer garden, thirsty at come visit. Here it is. Com. Packed with newly developed cryogenic hops that are twice as intense in flavor and aroma over regular hops. The result is huge citrus, mango, and tropical fruit hop party in a complex, unfiltered beer. Well, cryo hops are very popular now, that's true. It's a superior pilsner, wheat oak. Wheat oat. Malt. That's a malt in it. Uh, it's alcohol by volume six. I've used 33. Oh, I've used around 33 for a, a, a Jersey juice? That's weird. I thought I'd be higher than that. On the can here, it says Jersey juice uses cryogenic hop lupulin concentrate. Lupulin? Lupulin concentrate. Lupulin. To amp up the juicy and resiny characters of the beer without the astringency caused by astringency. adding massive amounts of leaf hops. Okay. I thought people were heading I for I could that. probably read that with my glasses on. The results is I a huge citrus, mango, uh, uh, and tropical fruit hop not party even grapefruit. in crumples? Crumples? No, I don't know. Crumple skull skin? It, oh, in a complex unfiltered beer, excuse me. So, originally, the way this was billed to me, I got a little glom here. Glom. So do you. The way this was originally uh, presented to me was this was a Northeast IPA. Oh, God. Oh. Can I bring it a little closer, please? Now, as we all know, Northeast, uh, or excuse me, New England IPAs, sorry, I was correct about that earlier. Oh, my. Are very unfiltered. They are very foggy. And uh, when I was looking at this, I said to them, you know, that's... Um, I like flying fish. That's not really all that uh, foggy there. And they're like, well, it's warm. not really like that. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, sorry. There we go. Oh, my. Sorry. Well, we don't have the same size glass. This is hard. It's okay. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, anyway. So, this is supposed to be like that, but this is called Jersey Juice because it's not obviously made. I anymore. like Jungle Juice better. It's a little bit foggy. It's not that foggy. It's a lighter on the SRM Fog scale. Leghorn. It's kind of a light yellow. It's a little transparent, but it's a little foggy. Let's give it a little sniff, Dave. Wow, Ooh. that's something you clean your table with. Lemony? Like I said, that's something you clean your Citrusy. That's something you clean your table with. All right, well, we don't know if this is a true New England IPA, but um, hey, it's new and it has cryo hops. So I think this is, is this the first cryo hops beer we've ever tried? I never heard that word before. I've and seen if it. I did, I was drunk and I don't remember it. No. I've seen it online before I'm because uh, I get emails from places that sell beer supplies and they sell like cryo hops. Cheers, everybody. This isn't a wire bar in the West, which you get this. That is a river horse glass, I believe. I don't see a river horse on the side of it. I think it washed off after a while. Oh my God. Really? Yeah, They're not, off. not very good quality. Oh my God. Bam! Oh! That is a hop bomb right there. They call it Jersey Juice because it is juicy like a IPA lover's dream is juicy. This is a bitter, bitter, bitter beer. Mm. Hey, cryo hops in the house. Woo! 
Dave, you, you want some idea fat? You want some idea fat? Nope, nope, don't want it. So, crowd hops, not for Dave. Nope. You may have the rest of my beer. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, give us a number there, buddy, and tell us your thoughts. Four. Why? It's just not, ugh. It's just not, ugh. Well, it sounds like it's ugh to me. Uh, it's just not, it just tastes like lemon pledge. <laughs> All right. Well. Not my kind of beer. So sorry. Dave, it's not a hop head. At least not that kind of hop. No, not this. Nope, not tonight. Nope, no, not not my fan. Nope. Ooh. So sorry. Well, I know a lot of hop lovers like uh, Carl, the Spartan. Oh. And he would love this, I think. My head hurts with that one. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, my. Oh. Look at that. Not in all I fairness, like I you know, I do appreciate a good IPA, but I do appreciate a little I bit more a balance. I bought a pack of IPA. You know? I'd rather have one of those than this. And everyone says to me, "Well, IPAs aren't supposed to be balanced. They're supposed to be both." Okay, hold that thought. Okay, I boy. do like a good malt profile in my IPAs. I don't think they're mutually exclusive, but that's just me. Um, if you love a nice hop bomb, if you like cryo hops. I mean, you'll love are. this. Oh. I try to be fair and balanced in my reviews. Now, having said that, um, this would be a very specific pairing beer for food. I think this would go really good with some super spicy food. Um, now, it, it's a little bit of pine, a little bit of the tropical fruit. Um, oh. Definitely on the resiny side, definitely on the hot bomb side. Way bitter, but it's not an unpleasant bitterness, I don't think. Oh. But it is definitely bitter. I feel like I should clean my table with this. It's definitely a specific flavor profile on the hop side. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, a no bit thanks. piney. Uh, but um, yeah, it, it's rather strong. The crowd hops are very interesting. I will give it a 6 out of 10. Not a super fan. I probably wouldn't buy it again. Dave obviously doesn't even want to finish it. No. Uh, but I do appreciate it for what it is. It was what, 6% ABV? Yep. So, you know, it's not bad alcohol content compared to most. But uh, like I said, that's just me and Dave's personal preference. If you love this kind of, if you love hoppy beers, if you love hop bombs, if you like cryo hop beers, I think you'll like this a lot. It'll be popular with the uh, people out there. So they, there you have it. Sorry. No, that's okay. Flying Fish has some really good beers, and I like a lot of the Flying Fish beers. I have a lot of them in my fridge right now. They have some really good stuff. I got I got a, a half a case. I think it's sitting in my in in on my shelf right now. Actually, I'm not ready to be put inside of my fridge. Actually, right now, I just don't like this particular beer. Sorry. So there you have it. Um, hop 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 hoppiness. I look forward to trying some crowd hops in my future brewings. I'd be ready to go back to their, to their, um, uh, a matter of fact, I almost bought the Baltic uh, Porter tonight to bring over here, but I didn't. Um, don't like this particular beer, sorry. Well, New England style is a new one, and I don't know if this actually qualifies as one. I guess it's a little bit foggy, but uh, yeah. Don't like this beer, sorry. Uh, it's, I just, uh, you know, I guess it is foggy. Don't like this beer. All it's right. not as foggy as I would You're like. Still, uh, I'm still a fan of Flying Fish. Oh, there you go. Just don't like this. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any other comments about this beer, please put it below. And we like to do the Ooh. General's warning in the United States of America that women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth, no. birth defects. You should not drink and drive. You should not operate heavy machinery if you're under the influence of alcohol. And excessive drink can cause health problems. Yep. And the reason we try all these different beers. On the Jim and Dave Beer Review is we believe that you should drink great beers. Yeah, have a good lab or two. With your friends. You're our friends. friends. We'd like to think so. Yep. Except for that one guy who commented last week, this was the worst beer review ever. And you know what? I have to tell you something. We've done a lot worse beer reviews than that and one, buddy. Your opinion matters to us. Yeah, don't be just saying it's awful. Tell us what we could do better, what you didn't your like Your opinion matters to us. But please, be constructive. Yeah, tell us what you think we could do better. If we're... Not if saying you're gonna take the time, like some people like to talk about the spider webbing on a glass. If you're going to take it's, the time to us. say what you don't like, tell us what you do like. 
And if you don't like anything, tell us how you think we can improve. Yes, please. Just because I believe that is the socially if you're responsible to take thing to the do, time to comment of your awesome time. Tell us what you do like. Right. Please. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you. Right. Yes. Thank you. Bye, people. Smile, Dave.